Hey, welcome to the third video in our Grasshopper series. Today, we're going to expand our toolkit with some exciting new methods. Let's get started. Curve. Primitive. Rectangle. Drop it onto an empty area. By default, the rectangle is placed on the XY plane. Let's create number sliders to set the rectangle's side lengths. Double click on the canvas. 15.0. Press Enter. Connect to the X size. Control C. Control V. Connect to the Y size. X size, 20. Double click to set an integer value. 30. Press Enter. Now. Let's create several copies of the rectangle along the z-axis. Transform. Move. Connect the rectangle to the geometry. Now, let's change the move distance using a z-vector. Vector. Vector. Unit Z. Connect to the motion. By default, the geometry moves by one unit. Hold down the Alt key and the left mouse button, then drag to the right to extend the view horizontally. Control C. Control V. Now, let's learn how to duplicate the geometry by connecting multiple sliders here. Control C. Control V. Control C. Control V. We'll create four copies by using four sliders. Connect the first slider to the factor input. Let the initial distance be zero. Hold the shift key while connecting the second slider. 10.5. Connect the third slider. 23.2 Connect the fourth slider. 37.6 We've created four copies of the rectangle. Let's hide the original rectangle. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Instead of stacking the data connections like this, let's use a tool that will provide more convenience and organization, the merge component. Right-click the factor input. Disconnect. Disconnect all. Sets. Tree. Merge. Connect the data sequentially. Although directly connecting sliders is simpler, using the merge component helps keep your workspace organized manage multiple parameters more effectively, and provides greater control over your design. Connect the result to the factor. Double-click the sliders and enter an integer. 15 30 45 Now, to make the design even more interesting, let's rotate the rectangle step by step. Transform. Rotate. Connect the geometries. Let's start by checking the angle input. Let's convert the angle unit from radians to degrees. Right-click the angle input. Degrees. 45. Connect to the angle input. We need to move the rotation center from the XY plane to the center of the rectangles. This way, the rectangles can rotate around their own axis.
The default plane is the XY plane. Let's start by finding the centers of the rectangles. Curve. Polygon center. Connect the rectangles you have moved to the polyline. We have obtained the center of each rectangle. We have four points at the center V output. Connect the center V to the plane. OK. Looks good. Now, we can hide the previous geometries. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Now, let's create four separate angle values that increase stepwise using number sliders. Control C. Control V. Control C. Control V. The important thing here is to create as many angle values as the number of rectangles. Hold down the control key to disconnect wires. Now, let's collect the sliders into a list. Sets. Tree. Merge. Connect the data sequentially. Connect the result to the agonal. Keep the first angle at zero. 20 degrees. 40 degrees. Sixty degrees. Now, let's learn how to create a surface using curves or polylines. Surface Loft At the geometry output, we have four ager rotated rectangles. Connect to the curves. Click the mouse wheel. Zoom. The zoom tool allows us to smoothly rotate around an object by focusing on it. We can also hide the points created with the polygon center. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Now. Let's cap the top and bottom parts of our model with planar surfaces. Util. Cap holes. We have an open BREP in the loft output. Connect it to the BREP input. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Finally, as always, let's use the custom preview to visualize our project more clearly. Double click on the canvas. Enter the component name. Custom preview. Connect the breadth of geometry. Congratulations, you successfully completed this project as well. 90. 60. 30. In the upcoming tutorials, we will learn faster ways to do this. Finally, 
let's convert our grasshopper model into a rhino model. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Right click on the geometry input. Bake. Click OK. Select the Rhino model. Move. Perspective. Monochrome. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.